Okay, we're back. So we had some technical difficulties with the camera. Went to skip a few. But that is that butternut squash, acorn, butternut, acorn, butternut squash, butternut and acorn squash mash right there. Boom, boom. Uh, put a little, uh, some seasonings in there, salt, pepper, some secret stuff, some butter. Boom, boom, boom. And that's what you got there. So that's how that turned out. Uh, we try to cut in here. Uh, we got the corn chopped up, portioned up, thrown in the refrigerator. I got my uh, breading station working here. This is uh, flour, breadcrumb, egg, things like that. So, how I'm planning on making this uh, chicken cordon bleu, handcrafted. Boom, I got some spinach over there. I'm not gonna wilt it or anything like that. Boom, I'm gonna take some of these uh, baby bells, Gouda. And I mean, we're gonna bust those down, cut them in half, wrap, wrap uh, some spinach, capicola, round the cheese. Boom, put that in the uh, thigh, double bread that, and then I uh, get them in the fryer, all right? So that's the process we're gonna start now. So I got some thighs here. I really, I need a mallet, I need a meat mallet, but you know, we won't get that fat in the future. I need a, a whisk, a meat mallet, and a few other things from the kitchen, but. You know, we won't get to it eventually. All right. I really wish I had a meat mallet. I don't even have a... So what we're going to do here is we use a little mat, uh, method of invention. All right, let's move the cheese out of the way. Finish and open the last two of these. One more to go. You know, I always remember to subscribe. You know what I mean? We will have double, more content. You know what I mean? Girl Fight 2 coming soon. Uh, you know, subscribe to the channel. Go check out my uh, Instagram, my YouTube, my Twitter. You know what I mean? Check out, uh, you know, boost up my uh, social media activity so we can get into the presence. But uh, what we're going to do here is I'm going to have to take a little uh, shortcut with the situation. I am going to use a plastic, no, uh, Ziploc bag. I'm gonna put the breast in there, flatten it out, bust it up a little bit with a uh, little bit of pan, a little, little pan, you know what I mean? Try to flatten it out a little bit, get it more consistent. I shouldn't be using this pot. Time to pull up the cast irons. <laughs> Square, I guess. 
treat on the cutlet. But you got a little bit, a little bit of, a little bit of flatness. So you know, I got the, uh, you know, <laughs> it's pick five. Fuck it, it's pick five. Cap cola. Uh, shouts out. Uh, save a lot. <laughs> You know what I mean? So, I'll take a piece of that. A little sample, chef's privilege. Don't get enough about my two pieces of that. Slap that in there. One of these baby bells, cut them in half, bust that spinach open. And then put that in there. Break that cappy and spinach up. Rito style, we grab that. Thigh. Bring that over. Try to tuck all these ends in. And really get a roll on that. Get your motherfucker roll on. Yeah. It's alright. The thing about it is. I'm not going to be able to uh, cook these all the way through in the fryer. For the simple fact that Roasted in, you know what I mean. So, boom. I'm gonna try this. Uh, cut method once again. The cast iron this time from the door. I'm gonna put it like the skin. We back. We have the chicken in the bag again. I'm gonna put this wrapped one over here. That chicken in the bag again. I'm just gonna give it some nice stiff slats. Again, you have to remember these are thighs. They're not breast cutlets or anything like that, so they're not going to flatten out probably exactly the way I want them to. Boom. And we got plenty of cappy there. Slice the cheese. Get your hand in. I should have grabbed the spinach first before I grab the cheese. Cheese in the middle. The little wrap the cappy. The little wrap the cappy. Grab the thigh. Bring that around. Try to tuck it all in. Hard tuck on that. 
the edges tucked in the middle. And that's what basically one looks like up close in person. The ends aren't closed at all. I'm gonna try to, you know, tuck them in and get them tucked in, you know, the best I can before I flower, flower them. And that's why we're gonna double flower them before we uh, frap. And that's why frying them might not. Uh, I'm gonna try to go without the bag. Get my kitchen. Working with it, you know what I mean? This might seem a little ghetto, but it's gonna get greater later, you know what I mean? I'm working with what I got to get to where I need to be. I know what I'm trying to eat though. You know what I mean? so let's work with it like that. So that's me peeking these, filling them up. And setting them up uh, to prepare to fry. So, you know, I ain't gonna hold them, let's do thug thing. But, you know, when we come back, I'm gonna show you a couple finished products. You know what I mean? Right before I put it in the oven. Bring it up to temperature, let that inside cook, that cheese really get to melting and all that. All right? All right. It ain't about where you're from. It ain't about where you're at. It's about your status. I want to thank everybody that watched and everybody that uh, joined in. I didn't get a chance to actually finish what I had what I was doing on camera. So this is just a quick overview. I ended up uh, wrapping them up into uh, cellophane uh, plastic bags and freezing them. Before I, you know, double battered them, fried them. And then what you have here is a finished product of the handcrafted uh, chicken cordon blues on top of bed of that uh, butternut acorn squash mash with a little uh, zucchini tomato saute. It came out very good, and I appreciate everybody that watched. You know, tune in, subscribe to the channel, and holla at your boy.